Melanie Beckler here with ask-angels.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you my favorite salt bath recipe. I love taking salt baths. I travel a lot, I'm pretty nomadic, and so I'm always living in different places. And they don't always have bathtubs, but when they do, like where I'm currently staying, it makes me so happy because I'm able to soak and release and recharge. And really, I find a salt bath to just be such a sacred space for rejuvenation, for meditation, and for really just taking some me time to let go and relax and enjoy. And there are a few things that I always have when I take a salt bath. And so that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. So the ingredients for my favorite salt bath recipe include sea salt, and you want something that's unrefined. Himalayan salts are great. This is just sea salt from Trader Joe's in a nice big container, so there's plenty of it. Balance that there, okay. I also like to have crystals. Let's go ahead and put those in the water. So crystals, so I have celestite, fluorite, amethyst. We have smoky quartz and the clear Lemarian. I have a lot of crystals here today. And here is the clear quartz point that is amazing. Okay, so when I put the crystals in, and I'm gonna add the salt in just a minute, I like to just set the intention for a sacred space to be created, to cleanse and recharge my energy. I ask that this space be filled with light, with angels, with love. I ask that my team of guides and angels enter into this time and space and raise the vibration, raise the energy. I ask that this water be transformed into liquid light to melt away any tension or negativity or toxins or density. And when I step into it to just help me to vibrate higher, to shine more radiantly, more authentically, more beautifully, and so it is. And now from this point on, I'm just imagining the water in this bathtub just absolutely sparkling and glowing with brilliant white, golden, violet, platinum light. Before I add the salt, I wanna show you a few more things that make this the perfect salt bath recipe. First and foremost, essential oil. I like to add lavender. Let's add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drops. And sacred frankincense, which I love. It smells so amazing. Two, three, four, five. I actually have standard frankincense as well, so I'm gonna add a couple of drops of that. Oops, that's running a little low. Shake those out of there. Okay, so we have essential oils. I also like to have sage and Palo Santo on hand, so I will light a little bit of both of these just to continue clearing the space, raising the vibration, releasing out anything that no longer serves, and just creating a beautiful, sacred, uplifting, inspiring space. I also like to have candles. Those are just to set the mood and again, call in more light. And finally, a glass of water to stay hydrated because you'll sweat a lot when you're in the salt bath. So to add the salt, I like to put a lot of salt in. About two handfuls of this size is usually about how much I put in. And I'm just setting the intention that this salt bath, first of all, cleanse and elevate the vibration of these amazing crystals I have in the water, and then also cleanse, elevate, purify, divinitize my vibration to awaken my radiant light and authentic truth 
to activate my DNA, to bring my spiritual gifts more into focus and help me to awaken on an even higher level. I thank my team of guides and angels for their presence here and now. And by the way, there's no weirdness about calling angels into your bath time because here's the thing angels don't see the physical realm how you and i do so don't worry about them seeing you when you're in the shower or in the bathtub i call angels in all the time when i'm showering to cleanse my energy because they just see us as that as energy of course they know we're physical beings but there's no like oh i'm invading your privacy because it's just it's not like that at all so don't worry about that and just fill your space with the highest light and love with angels with gratitude with peace with light and your salt bath is then prepared so I am going to go ahead and part ways at this time and enjoy this beautiful bath that I am so grateful for and take this opportunity to cleanse my energy. And hopefully next time you see me, I will be shining even brighter as a result. I thank you for watching this video. I hope it is helpful for you. If you don't have a bathtub, you can cleanse your energy with a spiritual shower just as we envision the light of the bath glowing the water glowing as light envision the water of the shower as light cleansing your being and you can have huge results and benefits with that as well okay thank you so much comment below and let me know if you love salt baths as much as i do and then i'll see you in the next video